baby. Come here. I want to be your friend. Finally, come. Hi. Hi, baby. Whoa. Got big balls on him. We finally finished the construction phase of the renovations. The next step is to start wiring the place up and be ready for audio equipment to come in. We've had bands waiting to start practicing here and now we can finally accommodate them. All our hard work is very evident and uh, it's great, but at the same time there's still so much to be done. Uh, the electrical when we moved in here was a mess. It was terrifying. It's gonna need new wiring. Yeah, gonna need to do that again. It was, it was very evident that basically just over the last 30 years, no one had really put any thought into a strategic, intentional electrical layout. It was like the type of situation where, like, as an outsider, if I came into this building, I would have been like a little worried about standing underneath a spaghetti string tangle. But that was the case, so we put up with that for a couple months. I don't know. been wiring up the place as we go, you know, to charge our drills and have some light. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for like months. It's gonna feel so good just to get rid of all of this shit. We were kind of doing it bit by bit as we needed it. We had a BX cable just running across the floor as an extension cord really wasn't ideal at all. The first light switch that we actually installed, Frank installed it. Uh, he wanted to put it in the closet so that if a thief came in to steal like whatever the fuck like we have in here anyways, they would have to like stumble around in the dark to find the light switch and that would deter them somehow. Yo, Colin, can you get some more light in here for me? We've spent a lot of time, you know, shutting off the main breaker. Just to make sure that no power was running through the wires we were working with. We would have to leave the door open to let light in because we don't have windows. We'd be squirreled away in the closet working on the electrical panel just by the lights of our phones. Uh, it, it's been a bit of a nightmare. You ready, folks? Once we finished the construction phase, we were able to move on to a little bit more strategic electrical placement. Uh, we really needed to do this so we can start offering rehearsal space. Bands can come in, power up their equipment. Just trying to be intentional about the way that the bands are gonna set up. One of the common frustrations rehearsing in a space is power. So having the privilege of building my own, uh, you know, that's definitely an emphasis. So one of the stipulations when we took over the lease from Frank, our landlord, was that we had to do all our electrical on the outside of the walls. He didn't want anything running through drywall. Which at first we were a little confused about, but it turns out that it's actually kind of fitting with the aesthetic of the building, with the raw beams and everything. Because we kind of did things as we went along, it turned out to be quite a blessing. If we'd buried the cables in the wall, we'd be screwed. You know, we'd have essentially have to just uh, tear open the drywall and, and rebuild that wall after. Getting through the electrical phase has been really rewarding. It's, it's really cleaned up the space. There's no longer cables just running wildly. It's just a really polished look now. We're in the living room area of our studio right now. We're just wiring up some dirty circuits so people can go on their computer, charge their phones, whatever. We're not too concerned about sending clean power into this area. With the gear that we're running in the control room, we really want to make sure that everything's protected. Our console has its own power supply unit that uh, takes care of conditioning, so we've been advised against running that through a power conditioner. Some of our vintage outboard gear is going to need power conditioning to make sure that you know it's protected from surges and noise interference. Power conditioning filters out noise so that you can have clean power for a recording. What happens is that when regular AC power comes out of the wall, it comes out noisy. When you're tracking, uh, you don't want any spike or like jolt or buzz to occur. One thing that makes rehearsing a lot easier is having outlets where you need them so you don't have to run extension cords from one side of the room to the other. 
with uh, microphone cabling and guitar patch cords and all that, you have enough wiring as it is, so it's nice to have uh, outlets where you want them. Obviously electrical is not the kind of work you want to mess around with, so if you're ever unsure about the kind of work you're doing or don't have the experience working with it, it's best to consult an expert just to make sure that everything's safe and up to code. Now that we have uh, some power in place, we can get some bands in here to rehearse. Our friend Jesse from Blonde Elvis came by while we were still in like the midst of our construction phase. His band's gonna be rehearsing here, so we just wanted to get an idea of what the place would be like and what it would sound like. When do you guys uh, realistically think it'll be all ready to go? You know, it was pretty hard to sell them on the space given kind of the state at the time. It was very obviously a construction zone and it felt like that and it looked like that. He obviously had his concerns looking around thinking like, you know, I hope it doesn't look like this when I'm paying, you know, X amount of dollars to rehearse here. But I think he'll, he'll appreciate it when they come by again and see what it looks like and start rehearsing here. <laughs> I'm not surprised that it turned out as well as it did because I, everyone obviously put a lot of effort and work into it. We were kind of in the market for a space for a while, but decided to wait for this one. We're happy we did. It just feels more like a place you actually want to hang out in before and after your practice. It's better than being in a stinky old rehearsal factory. You know, what we really just want is to share the space with as many people as possible and have people feel comfortable and be creative in the space. You know, it's pretty special seeing, uh, you know, someone like really enjoy something that you've created and, uh, you know, enjoy it for what it was made for. Blonde Elvis started practicing here and we're stoked. They seem to love the space. But um, our goal in the end is to be a recording studio and we're, we're definitely not there yet. We're all really happy with what we've done so far and it's funny, we're kind of like proud parents going around showing people pictures of what we've done, whether they want to see it or not, which is kind of what parents do with the pictures of their ugly kids.